Hi, so last New Year's my mum came with me to the service and heard Jo talking about her drive Thanksgiving and she decided it was something that she wanted to try and do for the duration of 2020 and also encourage her team members at work to try and do the same. And I knew that she'd started it but I wasn't aware that she'd kept it up and then yesterday evening she brought out a tin that she'd been filling all year and as a family we sat and read it out and it was amazing to hear how much there is to be thankful for especially in a year that was difficult for a lot of people, there was still so much to give thanks for. Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of our podcasts. We're still saying Happy New Year because it's a brand new year and we're just praying that God is setting before you the vision of what your year should look like. Now one of the things that's going to carry a heavy influence over how the year does shape up for you is who will have your ear this year. So this is part two and we're still on the same topic. Now last week we looked at how Adam and Eve lost everything um, based on one of the enemy's greatest weapons, and that was a voice. A voice of influence, a voice of manipulation, a lying voice. But now we're going to go a bit further into the story, because I realize that that everything that happened, whatever the enemy comes, the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God will lift up a standard against him. It doesn't matter what the enemy is trying to do in your life, because there's always an answer, there's always an antidote. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Stand still, tune into what the Lord is doing, and you will have a whole array of weapons there. And we see that in Genesis 3. I'm just going to carry on from where we read last time. So Genesis 3, um, and I'm going to read verse 7, because I think that's where we left off. It says, and the eyes of them both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Verse eight, and they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees of the garden. I'm going to stop there. But if you go on to read it, you, uh, I, I just love the way that the answer to that lying voice was the voice of the Lord. And they heard the voice of the Lord. And although initially they began to run and hide themselves, we see that it was actually the voice of restoration. It was a voice that came and as long as they could hear this voice, all of a sudden, you know, they could have been struck dead. They could have been destroyed. But because they were still able to hear the voice of God, it led them to restoration. Our question is, can you hear the voice of God? Can you hear what the Lord is saying to you? Because it's not just a voice, it is a prophetic voice. It is the voice of vision, the voice of instruction, the voice of direction, the voice of healing, the voice of deliverance, the voice of salvation. Just that voice. Child of God, no matter what, Circumstance, you could be watching this and you could be in the middle of a terrible dilemma. You may not even be a Christian. You may just be watching this and, you know, everything, it seems like all hell is breaking loose around you. All you need is to hear the voice of the Lord today. Because the Bible says that deep calleth unto deep. And once you hear the voice, you see within that voice is the answer to your dilemma. And when they heard the voice of the Lord, it was the beginning of restoration. So who will have your ear this year? As far as I'm concerned, I think that the only person that is having my ear this year is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When we read the word, we see from the Old Testament to the New Testament, God speaking, yeah, 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 in so many different ways. Yes. So if we talk, if we think about John the Baptist when the dove appeared, yes, God was speaking, yes, through a dove. When we have Elizabeth, we have Mary, yes, um, we have Joseph, yes, where God speaks through, through dreams, through dreams angels, through angels, burning bushes, 
Amen. So we have so many ways in the world. You know, some people say, oh, well, God doesn't speak anymore. God is always trying to Amen. speak to us and to give us that direction. And particularly because, you know, the, the world today is, 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 is so broken. <laughs> it is so broken that we need to hear from God. You know, the word tells us that the Holy Spirit reveals truth to us amen. amen amen you know god will reveal secrets to to us we need god's perspective yes yeah in everything in everything we're not going to be moved by anything other than the word of god the spirit of god that which will keep us safe and it will keep us moving in that right direction to fulfill the purpose of the lord so that's so important it's everything Amen. it starts and it finishes with god's voice you know if we look in the book of first samuel i think it's around about chapter three but it talks about the young samuel hearing the voice of god god just beginning you know god had chosen him to be a prophet and so what does god do god starts speaking to him you know don't tell me that god's called you in ministry and you're not hearing from god don't tell me that you know you just you know you, you just walk in this earth like a vagabond because even cain who killed his brother, could hear from God. He had a conversation with God. If a murderer, the first murderer, you know, who God was actually so, you know, uh, judging and getting ready to deal with, could still hear from God. You can definitely hear from God. The problem is, is that we're living in a time where there is a cacophony of different voices. There is just a din, just a crazy, chaotic noise of different voices. And you've got to train your ear. You've got to train your Amen. spirit Amen. to hear the voice of God. That's what Eli was saying to Samuel. When you hear that voice, go back and say, speak, Lord, your servant heareth. You see, he had to have his, he had to have his senses trained to hear God. By the time he was an adult, that guy, the Bible says no one word from Samuel fell on the ground. That guy, he was, he was serious because he had learned to hear the word of God. Now, the Bible tells us in John 10, read all of it, but John 10 verse 27, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I think it's around about verse 5. He says, the voice of a stranger they will not follow. Now listen, just picture the scene. When you were a child, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but this happened to me once. We were in Bahamas and we were in this place called uh, International Bazaar, where it's like a marketplace, everything's going on. And I temporarily got lost, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I don't know if as a child you've ever gotten lost and the panic sets in and you're just seeing people everywhere and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that, that frantic feeling. But then all of a sudden you will hear above the noise, above the chaos, the voice of your parent and when they call your name believe me it is like water to your soul it's like the cavalry have arrived when you hear that voice even in the midst of all the other voices you know the voice of a parent and that's what it's like in life so easy to feel lost you know i don't trust this government i don't trust them they may take this thing off youtube i don't care i don't trust the voices that i'm hearing i don't trust them and i don't trust the kind of things that they want to bring in and whatever every move that they make i just see the book of revelation and the book of daniel i just see end times unfolding so there are so many voices around listen the only voice that will move me is the voice of the Holy Spirit through the Word of God. You see, because when God speaks, all of a sudden, it ignites the supernatural in our lives. When God speaks, you could be sick. All of a sudden, your body will respond to healing because God has spoken it. When God speaks, you could have sleepless nights beforehand, but when God speaks, you will sleep like a baby. We wanna encourage you, who will have your ear this year? Why should anybody else have your ear this year than the Holy Spirit? He's the only one that will speak truth. He's the only one that will speak life. He's the only one that will speak restoration. So if you're gonna lend your ear, if you're gonna give ear, the Bible says, whose report am I gonna believe? I will believe the report of the Lord.